Welcome back to Smoke Your Ribs. I'm Russ Jones. Today's video is going to be a burger. This video has been influenced by an old Mexican recipe for breakfast, huevos rancheros. I'm going to be doing a huevos rancheros burger. I think it's going to be killer. I'm taking this authentic Mexican dish and we're going to twist it with an American style. We're going to come up with something really killer, really good to eat, so stay tuned. All right, first order of business is I'm going to make a salsa camada. I'm making this now because it needs time to marry and meld and come together. I've actually made this exact same salsa on another video. The recipe is right up here in this video card if you'd like to check that out. The recipe came where I got it from was from uh, Chef Johnny Stewart over at Texas Style Cuisine. I'll have a link to his video as well down in the description box below the video. Basically what you're doing in this salsa and kamada means burnt, so basically what you're doing is you're taking the jalapeno peppers and you're taking ripe tomatoes and you're roasting these until you, you literally burn the skin. That's what gives it and creates this really unique, awesome flavor in this salsa. From there, it's simply blended up into a blender with a little salt, a little sugar, some roasted garlic, and some lemon juice. It's just that simple but terrific. And I thought about it, I'm like, man, this would be fantastic on this huevos rancheros burger. Uh, compared to any other salsa, I think this would be perfect match for it. The flavors are really bland. Now the recipe will also be available. This is a complete recipe of the burger over at smokeribs.com, our website. Just click on the recipes link for a full printable copy of that as well. So now let's go ahead and get started on this roasted jalapeno aioli. All right, now I'm going to put together a real quick aioli. This is a roasted jalapeno aioli. When I did the salsa camada a little earlier, I went ahead and roasted one extra jalapeno just for this aioli. So I'm simply just going to give this a rough chop, mince it up somewhat. It's about a tablespoon. I'm going to go just a little bit more than that because I know this is going to be some awesome flavor with that roasted skin on that jalapeno. Got about half a tablespoon of cilantro going in. This is jalapeno hot sauce made by Frog Bone. Going to go in with one teaspoon of that. Now I started with one half cup of mayo. I'm putting everything on top of the mayo. Going to add just a little bit of black pepper, cracked black pepper. That should do it. And just a little salt, not much. About an eighth of a teaspoon. So now just simply give it all a really good mix. You want to cover this, put this in the refrigerator, give it a couple hours, and that's about how long it's going to be before we actually start cooking. That'll give all this flavor time to really meld and come together. Now if you look down here, you'll see some black Angus patties that I put together. This is 80-20 and it's pure black Angus. going to be good. And all I'm going to do right now is I'm going to salt and pepper each side of this and get them ready for the grill. I actually have eight patties in all. I'm going to start with these four. A little black pepper. And I'm going to dust just a little bit of cayenne pepper on these. I do basically the same thing with my steaks. It's not much punch air. It cooks out. It just really lends a nice flavor to it. Just kind of press that in. We're going to repeat the process on the back side. All right, what I'm doing right now is I'm taking some bacon grease and we're just coating this mojo griddle. Give a good layer of bacon grease. Now this is my hot side here and this is my cooler side. We're gonna go ahead and go on with a few of these patties. Thank you. 
All right, what I'm going to do now on this side that's not so hot, we're going to go ahead and start some eggs. My wife likes hers yolk busted, so that's exactly what she's getting. And she also likes it well done. A little salt, a little black pepper. My eggs are good to go. I've got them shoved way over here where it's not near as hot. It is hot, but not hot enough to do much damage. This is still gonna be a runny yolk, so is this one. As you can see, this one's already well done. All right, I do believe our burger is ready for a flip. Look at the crust on that. That bacon grease is gonna add a little bit of a smoky flavor to these as well. Now we're gonna take some of the salsa camada and we're gonna to top each one of these burgers with a couple of tablespoons. I'm melting pepper jack cheese on top of this. This is just a deli style pepper jack cheese. All right, now we're gonna lay some buns on here and give these a nice toast. I've just got them buttered. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take these burgers off. They are done. All right, let's check our buns here. Oh yeah, looking good. All right, let's go inside and build a burger. Ah, I can't wait for this burger. I think it's gonna have some really good flavors. Let's go ahead and put it together. All right, so we're gonna start off by adding our mayo. This is our roasted jalapeno aioli. We're gonna put a layer right here on the bottom. From there, we're gonna place on one of these patties. Had a little bit more shrinkage than what I was wanting, but that's okay. And from here, one fried egg. Gonna garnish that with just a little cilantro and a little fresh avocado. Some more of this roasted jalapeno aioli on the top bun. I say we're ready for a taste test. All right, let's see how we done. Don't let that runny egg intimidate you. It is delicious on this. Great flavors going on here. The uh, roasted jalapeno mayo aioli is killer on this. A lot of heat coming through, but not overpowering. It's just got a really nice heat, you know, nice background heat, really good. Great flavors, I hope you give this one a try. It's good for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Until next time, smoke your ribs.